So far I've done quite a few different DIY tutorials on how to make horns using things like tin foil, papier-mâché and my personal favourite glue guns. And I will be using a glue gun today but I'm going to be showing you how to make most of it with styrofoam. The first thing I've done is I've got a block of styrofoam, I've cut it in half and now I'm going to draw out the shape of the horns with a pen on the side. And this is so that we have a guideline once we start to cut into the styrofoam so that we know the basic shape that we want to go and they're going to be close enough to each other and not look completely different. If they look a little different that's fine, but at least there's not going to be a massive variation in size and shape. First thing I'm going to do is start to cut down the sides and you're going to want to do this in chunks. If you have a longer knife and something like a craft knife it's going to be a little bit easier otherwise you're going to have to take little flakes out of it and slowly chip away at the shape. And yes this is going to be messy. With any kind of static all these little bubbles are going to stick to your hands so be prepared to have a little bit of a hoover after this. Once you've cut both styrofoam blocks into the shape that you want, we're going to be moving on to my favourite tool, a glue gun. Now the glue gun I'm going to be using it slightly different today. First of all I'm going to be using a low heat glue gun and I'm going to be using it to do a guideline basically of the spiral shape around the horns. Now this is the point where we're going to use the glue gun but just without the glue. I'm going to be using one of the glue guns which heats up a lot more. The nozzle at this point was quite hot so you just want to drag it along the spiral shape that you've already done and it's going to create this beautiful carved edge into the horn and you want to keep doing this all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top and you're going to get this beautiful spiral pattern. Now after that I'm going to be taking another low heat glue gun and this time I'm going to be putting it in the trench that I've just burned out into the styrofoam. After this I'm going to be spray painting the styrofoam with a mixture of black and gold spray paint. Now the problem with using spray paint is that it is going to eat away at the styrofoam. Now this is actually a look that I want this time because it's going to make it look a lot more organic. But it's also one of the reasons why I've used a glue gun because without it, it is going to start to wither and crumble and it's going to be very hard for the styrofoam to keep its structure. I applied a light coat of black spray paint all over it and then a gold spray paint but you want to spray it just from the top of the horn so that it catches the edges and not the areas that you've already spray painted black. Now because it's going to eat away at the styrofoam, some parts are going to be left exposed and obviously you can't keep spraying because eventually you'll just have no styrofoam left. So you want to take some black acrylic, mix it with a little water so that it runs into all those holes and nooks and crannies. And then if it covers up the gold, just rub it away and it should scrape off very easily off the spray paint that you've already done. After that you just want to get a hair comb, apply a generous amount of hot glue gun, Stick this to the middle and now I've actually pulled away some of the teeth on the middle of the comb because they're going to get in the way and it's easier if the combs are just on the very edge. Not the combs, the teeth of the combs are on the edge. And then after that you should be able to just slot it into your hair wherever you want it. If you want more than two horns, if you want four, five or six, just go ahead and make horns. But other than that, you're done.